Right, well, evening guys. It's, uh, I believe it's about half past eight and I'm heading up to one of my usual camping spots. I'm on the ascent towards uh, Sierra Carolock. Uh, like I said, it's one of my places where I like to come test my tents out because you're a good chance you're going to get quite a bit of wind and when it's raining, like it is now, it's a good chance that uh, you're going to find out that your tent floods. All right, let's crack on. All right, so if you haven't tried night hiking, then it is completely different. Just whacks a whole different aspect onto it. You know, you've got to keep wary of where your feet are going, watch for trips, set your time, go a little bit slower. Before you know it, you're way up the hill. Obviously, Aaron and I have done our fair share of night hiking, South Downs, Cotswolds Way, and there's nothing better than seeing the beady little eyes, I think you can see them, of the old sheep in the field. Good. Good at the top. So, nice little pitch, a little bit flat, so we'll just pitch a bit tonight. Alright, tent's up, we'll have a little chat when we get in. Oh, right, after a two hour drive and another hour hiking, little night hike, started at half eight. I don't know what time it is now, but I'll have a look in a minute. Welcome to Sierra Caradoc in this beautiful little tent. This is the Opalus 2, yeah, Opalus 2. I got it because of the simple fact is I haven't got a tunnel tent and I wanted to try one out. Obviously, there's no point in me having a three man. My wife, my kids don't even want to go out camping with us anymore. Yeah, all right, if you give me a minute, I'm gonna get myself sorted. Like I said, I'm in the Palace uh, Nature Hike, a Palace 2. And I tell you what, I'm quite impressed. I do like the amount of space that's at the front, which is where the camera is now. Obviously you can go probably another foot, two foot back. That's how much room you've got to store like your backpack. But because the ground's wet, I put my backpack in here. All right, I'm gonna have a cook up. And then because I'm drenched, I'm gonna start shaking down, stripping off. And then, uh, like I said, I'm gonna have something to eat first. Let's get that done. Today I'm using the Micromo. The Micromo is my new go-to, although I still like using bioethanol. Well, I do like the um, the Micromo. It does seem like it's only because it's got the flux, and therefore I can uh, cook up something nice and be able to simmer it. Tips and hacks: This did have shower gel in it. All right. You may not know, and you may have just joined the channel, but yes, I, I do have diabetes, so therefore. I try to eat or will try and eat as healthy as possible. I'm not one of these that likes to put a burden on the NHS. On the, on the, on the NHS. Let's heat the frying pan up enough. Mm. Oh, this is a camper can eat healthily, eh? What's the point of bringing a fish knife if I didn't use it? Unbelievable. Oh, no, that ain't good enough to eat. I don't know what is. <sighs> so what I'm doing is I'm going to have a bite to eat, like I said. I'm going to get changed and something a bit warmer. And then tomorrow morning we'll go and have a good look at the uh, palace. Bearing in mind, it's not a brand new tent. It came out a few years ago, but uh, I think it's a wonderful little tent. Yeah. Mm. Warm kit on, leggings on, pillow blown up. It's time for me to hit the sack. It's not much to show you outside. It is still like spitting, no wind, but we'll get into the specs of this tent in the morning um, because I think it's a, an Uber tent. And this is my first try out in it. So I am uh, I think it's actually stunning. School boy here this evening. Didn't bring no milk for me tea. Proper gutted, but we're on a health kick. So we'll have some water before sleep and we'll hit the sack. Turn the light out, get the sack. Oh, by the way, um, what I'm using is, I'm still using the Irish Flames quilt, because I love it. And we have the Flex Tail uh, air mat and the Flex Tail pillow, along with the Flex Tail light, which is the, uh, the little mozzy one. But, like I said, this was a very quick video. I'm going to bed now. Shall see you in the morning. Well, I slept so heavy. I've had to slip that heavy. It's 10 o'clock. <laughs> It's nice to see the sheep out. Mm. OK, 
can't knock it, can you? Waking up to a view like that. And not only that, I come up here in the pouring rain last night and it's absolutely beautiful this morning. We get up, bite to eat, start packing up a bit, because it is actually quite late. <laughs> This is what's known as a devil's coach horse beetle. Come here. Taking uh, refuge in my tent last night. Look at that. Looks like a little beast, doesn't he? Tail up. What's going on there? We have some salmon again this morning because I had two very big lumps last night and I thought I'd save one for this morning. That wasn't the plan, but it is the plan now. Like I said, it's all about trying to eat more healthily now. Let's just get that cooked up. I'm gonna have an egg as well with that. I'll just wait until this is a little bit more cooked before I shove my egg in there. 100% though, I can say that I love this nature of the tent. For a one person, I believe it's 2.4 kilograms. And for one person, well it is for two people, but for one person, this is especially comfortable. You could fit two in here quite easily, but while with you and you can just have yourself and relax with no one else. I'm a solo camper and that's the way I like it. This is the point where I add this to myself. Call me a slacker, but I haven't even been out this morning. I'm gonna have a nice little walk around now, I think. Let's go. Boots on. I definitely didn't expect this up here this morning. Uh, all these. I think I'll sit here and let them just go past. <laughs> So the people that just went past, they're actually, uh, I think that's like a historian group or a historian hiking group. It's nice to see that kind of thing, to be honest. You'll have to excuse my jacket there. It is drying off because the rain was horrendous last night. All right, so let's get into some tech specs. The uh, rain fly is 20D nylon coated. So wicked for protection against the rain as usual, as all nature hike tents do. Um, it's only got one door. Uh, but I would honestly think this tent, considering it's a couple of years old now, it's absolutely superb for things like, um, well, for a one man, definitely. Bearing in mind, it's only 2.4 kilograms, which is pretty damn good, especially for a two man. So we've got a, a mesh inner and ground sheet is a silicon coated nylon ripstop holes that you get at the rear, middle and porch they're made of aluminium alloy <laughs> I'm a diabetic yeah, I'm a, I'm to be. perfect for you diabetics and me actually Messner you've said that you've got like health issues so this could be your way forward stay off the clacky and the pop find yourself a new clacky and pop this also puts lead in your pencil and all. <laughs> Why is it the worst bit about packing up your tent is this bit, especially in the wind. Right, 
that's me all packed up or nearly all packed up i hate especially when it's bad weather doing this but man i do love this nature hike tent it is awesome um like i said it's an old one but definitely i'd say it's definitely worth a buy especially if you're a single lad wanting to go on the trek and you want plenty of room in your tent let's get it in his bag No trace there. This is a funny lad just behind me. You're following me, aren't you, kid? Nah, he's just come to take some photos. Leave me alone, I'll leave him alone. That's what people do when they come up in these places. It's not a nice night. I'm going to come up here with, uh, with Aaron in a couple of days week or so i've yet to show him i know we've been up here once together i've yet to show him the cave that's down here up here yeah guys oh let's get back on the trail so i've just noticed this because i've noticed the sun glinting off it Ooh, hello but there's a sheep and i don't want it cut its lip on what it was just next to because there is stains in our world we don't know how to take things home with them I'll do it for them yeah arseholes absolute arseholes you just imagine it can't you you know tuck it into your lamb joint only to find there's a little bit of tin metal in there you know we piss and moan about microplastics and all that lot. But it's all the little punks and they're dropping all this shite. They shouldn't be allowed out, should they? They shouldn't be allowed out. Right, let's take the steep descent, I think. Straight down that way. Right, as you know, I'm on my way back to my car and I can't be bothered to walk around to the trail. So I'll just take the steep route straight down. Looks like there's a little stream that went down here at some point. Hiya a lot easier for myself. Alright, oh, the path's just down there. We'll follow it along through the valley, down the tree line, and to the car. Right, I'll end this little video here. Like I said, tonight was just basically a little test of the Apalus Nature Hike two-man tent, which was made of 20D a ripstop nylon. That's the outer and the ground sheet. Inside was the net, comes with three poles, it's a tunnel tent, it's got one door and it weighs 2.4 kilograms and to be honest, I really liked it. So uh, as I do with most tents, right, let's go, goodbye.